Here we have the challenge, multiply all. The prompt reads, create a function, multiply all, that takes an unknown number of integer arguments, multiplies them all together, and returns the result. So let's get started by writing out some pseudocode. We know that we're going to need to create a function, multiply all, that takes any number of arguments. Once we have our function, the first thing I'm going to want to do is declare a variable, uh, which we can just call product. The next thing I'm going to want to do is just iterate through the arguments. And as we're iterating through our arguments, we're just going to want to reassign product to equal product multiplied by the current argument. Once our loop is finished, uh, all we need to do now is just return product. So now that we have some pseudocode down, let's get into writing some actual code. Um, I'm going to use some ex6 syntax here to create our function. So we have const multiply all. And this function needs to take any number of arguments. And to accomplish that, I'm going to use our rest parameter. And we're just going to uh, name this parameter nums because it's going to be an arbitrary number of uh, integers. So now that we have our function definition laid out here, uh, let's bring up our pseudocode so uh, it's easier to follow. Next thing we're going to want to do is declare this variable product. And since product is going to be reassigned later, um, we're going to use let here. So product let product, um, and we're going to assign this the value of 1 initially. This is because on this first iteration of our loop, um, we're going to essentially multiply the first argument by 1, uh, which is going to be itself. And then subsequent iterations are going to start to multiply all of our arguments together. Uh, so we need to actually create this loop. So we're just going to use a standard for loop here. And we're going to declare a new variable i. We're going to start it at 0. And we're going to loop for as long as i is less than our arguments, the length of our arguments. And upon every iteration, we're going to want to increment i. Again, I'm going to move our pseudocode up inside of this uh, for block here. And on every iteration, we just want to reassign product to equal product multiplied by the current argument. So to accomplish that, we just need to reassign product to be product times uh, nums, which are our arguments, at the index of i, which is the current index in our loop. And then the last thing that we need to do is just return product. And with this, we can uncomment these uh, console logs down here. And you can see there's two invocations with varying lengths of arguments. And if we run our code, we get our expected outcomes and we pass all of our tests. 